All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. Now, check this out. For those that have not been tuned in, have not been watching because the Hater World 200 Boys has been on vacation. Uh, let me give you guys an update real quick. All right, PSA. Last night, we had Mr. Shadow in the building. San Diego legend. Dago legend. 619 legend. You know, uh, there's so many names uh, for the homie. But listen, Mr. Shadow was in the building last night three-hour podcast we took phone calls it was a success uh listen no no phone calls with uh goofy callers it was all love shout out to mr shadow there's a lot of content coming on shadow there's already uh, shorts up on tiktok youtube facebook instagram uh the clips are coming this weekend so uh nothing but love to mr shadow now today friday the 11th, we have Royal T from Low Profile and Mr. D from Southland Records. Let's not forget, these fools were ops, all right? They were ops at one point. Now, they going to pull up. We going to pull up. We going to be live. They pulled up. They're going to pull up. Damn. They're going to pull up. They're going to be live. We going to be in the building. 7 p.m. tonight, 200 Boys Podcast. You already know we're going to have droops. You know, the Highland Park General. We're going to have Opina, the Nightland Nightmare. We're going to have Blue Devil. Uh, there's so many names for me. You pick one down below. Uh, and we're going to have Royal and Mr. D. Now, look, Royal don't roll solo, bro. I'm going to tell you like this. Royal does not roll solo. He probably going to bring the entire low-profile catalog. All right? I don't know. You might see uh, 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 Khalifa Thugs in here. You might see the Burpees King. You might see uh, Miss Sancha. I don't know. I just know that that food does not roll solo. So pull up. 7 p.m. is going to be a movie. Salute to the homies. All right. We're getting Dago in the building. Uh, another announcement is, uh, check this out. I'm doing a segment where I get to ask them questions uh, with the little mic. You know, you know, give them the little mic. They got the little mic like this. I think those are fire. So look, go to the post in the community tab that has their profile picture because I put the flyer up. If you go and do that and you write a question in there, I will ask them the question. All right, let me give you guys, uh, let me show you guys how to do that real quick so you guys can know. So if you go here, go to the main page, go to community. All right, if you go to community, right here, hit comment. All right, and type in the question. Bam, right there, type in the question, and what I'll do is I'll ask them, hey, so and so. If it's a good question, I'll ask them. If it's not a good question, don't waste your time. All right. Uh, so that way, uh, I can, you know, maybe get him to answer what you want him to answer. And it's not going to be on the. I'm not going to ask him that question on the pod. I'm gonna ask him that question in the interview style. Right. So go do that. Handle some business. Uh, let's get to know these artists. With that being said, uh, we are doing music lives Saturday and Sunday. Only because today we got booked. So Saturday and Sunday we're going to do music. With that being said, uh, tonight, 7 p.m., anybody that needs us to, uh, uh, anybody that wants promo space, I got two spots open. So go hit me up on Instagram at the Hater World. Two spots open so I could promote your brand, your music, whatever it is, on tonight's pod. With that being said, look, we got a video, Camp Capone News. Shout out to the homie. Uh, SPM's friend, Mo Hustle, exposes SPM's second victim. Contacted him why SPM won't get out of prison. Now, look, uh, Mo Hustle has a iffy past with us. And when I say us, I'm talking about Capone, uh, 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 Lazy, Lazy Dub, uh, Lady Pinks, you know, the, the whole L.A. car. Uh, because he used to be on SPN's payroll, and now all of a sudden he's coming out and he's talking all this, right? Now, look, this is a two-hour interview. I'm not watching the whole thing. I skipped about five minutes in, and let's see what he's talking about. For those that don't know, I spoke to Mo Hustle on the phone, and he said that SPM will not be getting out of prison, uh, that SPM himself knows he's not getting out, right? So it's a big thing. Uh, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. I don't know. But let's go ahead and watch this and get you guys that Blue Devil reaction. Let's get it. You know, for me, my experience, man, you know, let me give you a little, little backstory. You know, I used to rap. So I used to be on the road a lot. I hung around a lot of different rappers. You know what I'm saying? I met a lot of different rappers from Texas. You know, obviously a lot of dudes from Cali. 
Right. And we always used to hear this same story. He's innocent. There you go. He got set up, man. His um, He was being with his best friend's uh, wife. His best friend is in prison. Right. And she, she tried to extort him for a bunch of money. That's, he I, says, heard that I'm not I heard that, too. I heard that, too. And, and uh, he wasn't going to pay her any money. So so she made up these wild accusations that because they're i guess their daughters were around the same age so that happens you know what i'm saying I, and you know for me bro like I, you know i know when it comes to pedophiles like nobody ever admits they're a pedophile right you know what i'm saying Every, everybody always lies so i was always like skeptic of these stories you know and then years later the truth comes out and i find out he ain't even in jail for that shit. all these people are telling this crazy story about SPM and this story, th this situation, I don't know if the situation happened, right. but that is not even why he's in jail. He's in jail for getting a 13 year old pregnant. Yeah. All right, I've said this before, right? I used to like SPM's music, right? I used to bump his music right before. I remember I, I, I discovered SPM like in 2005. I, I remember that right, right when they put me onto his music, I got busted the next day, and I'm off to, to do a year in jail, right? Uh, and then I never really got to listen to it like that until I came home. Then I started to listen to it because I'm like, oh, well, you know, let me see. Let me see. Because I had heard, like, an album, and then right the next day, I remember I got busted. You know, when I got back out, I listened to some of it. I thought it was cool. Uh, for a while, I bumped it. Uh, I stopped listening to it in, like, when Devil Strike came out. I think that was, like, 07, 08. But we all heard those stories. It was just like he got set up. Uh, you know, uh, he really didn't do it. They wanted money. That was the stories that we would all hear. So we were all like, man, it happened to Pac. It happened to Tyson. It's probably true. Right? But the internet wasn't that prevalent like that. The internet really wasn't like... what like The internet was there, but it was so new. People weren't looking up SPM, dog. They were more looking up other shit, right? But then now that we're in the space where everyone's info is on the internet, you can't lie, you can't make up stories. And I'm not going to lie to you. I, I saw the truth when American Cholo read that paperwork. He couldn't have gave it to you any more clear. And it's wild because we all believe these stories, for one, because we like this music. For And for two, because we don't want to believe it. And for three, because that's a Mexican man, dog. They try to do him dirty, right? I'm not saying that... That... I'm not saying that, look... Because I know he got a lot of fans, right? A lot of fans. I'm not telling you, don't listen to his music. If you like his music, bump it. But just be aware of the kind of person he is. Right, because he got a lot of fans out here that are like pushing for him and fighting for him. But if you ask him that one question, and the question is, would you let him babysit your kids? And right away they go off, dog. F you, F this, blah, blah, blah. They won't answer that question. Would you let Uncle SPM babysit your child? And they won't answer it. So again, you go listen to his music. I'm not saying don't listen to it. Just be aware of the kind of guy he is. That's it. But remember, Mo Hustle has been with SPM for 15 years. Let's go. So at what point did you learn the truth about him and, and believe the truth and, and start to right. switch okay, to the so, right side? So what brought me to the light light was probably a year ago when, when everybody in Cali was making this stand. You know, and me, I felt like, 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 damn, I got to defend this shit even more because these motherfuckers is going off. And I felt like we were we were, we were being attacked. I didn't feel like SPM was being attacked because they're saying dope house records. And people don't understand what that is. This is a bunch of artists. This is a bunch of producers. This is a bunch of legacies, a bunch of history. This, it means a lot to the people. It's not just SPM out here. You know, dope house records is every individual artist has their own following. And the people that love them. And when they come together, they bring the people together. He, he, he wants to say it's a brand. SPM, I mean, Dope House is a brand. It's a brand. And they got these little branches. Juan Gotti, Lucky Lou, uh, you know, Karen Rodriguez, uh, uh, Filero. Everybody got their own fans. But when they come together, it's the Dope House. So that's what he's trying to say. But look, 
I, when Capone came out and started bringing up uh, SPM, people were like, it's for clout. But look, look it. He accomplished his goal. Capone said it's not for clout. I want to bring awareness to let everybody know. Right? Because we don't rock with this and he about to get out of prison. He going to try to come to Cali like it's all cool. And he going to try to finesse our people. He going to try to lie to our people. He going to try to like backdoor our people. And I know you fools are thinking like, what are you talking about, fool, finesse and backdoor? Dog, he going to come to Cali and take your money, fool, and laugh in your face after what he did to children. So Capone was trying to put it out there to look. I'm just letting you guys know, look, this is what's going on. You don't have to believe me, but it's right there. Hey, bro, to me, that's fire. But you know how it is. The little kids and the fans, all oh, your cloud chasing, your cloud chasing. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? With SP. Why don't you own an apartment building? I'm serious right now. Let me show you. know this fool's lying. Stop lying, bro. If you were rich, you wouldn't be doing these commercials. Show you a path that could change your. Okay, so you do it and have everyone from your family do it. Why you got to give it to us for? I know you got 100 family members. Go put them on game. He lying for. He just wants your forty nine ninety nine for a fake book. SPM behind all the shit, but SPM don't have to build these relationships. We build these. You know what I mean? We, we build these relationships with these people. You know? So when I seen like Capone jumping out, right? And I'm going off on Capone... Like, I, I was new to the YouTube world type shit. Like, yeah, I've searched videos, but but not like all these podcasters and all this crazy shit right now. So, Capone's going off. I'm defending him because, really, and I'm still not with Capone over it, you know? Because the way he came at it, and I did some research on him, and I seen the way he was doing that to people, and I didn't like the way that they did Carolyn because I felt like Dope House was bullying Carolyn, Capone was bullying Carolyn, and she's in the middle of the fire. And I felt that was foul because now you... You can't be mad, bro. Let me explain something. You are who you kick it with. You are who you kick... You kick it with a bunch of lames, you're going to be a lame. You kick it with a bunch of real ones, you're going to be labeled the real ones because you in the talks of real ones. If you're kicking it with a bunch of weirdos, you in the talk with a bunch of weirdos. So you can't be mad. Carolyn Rodriguez is a grown woman. She needs to pick her friends wisely. Big facts, bro. Th look, I don't care what nobody says. You know how I get a bunch. I get a bunch of comments, right? There's a video I did with uh, the homie Bozo and uh, uh, a bunch of gang members, right? And you see fools in the comments disrespecting, talking about all these fools are PCs and dropouts and all this. And these fools are out saying this. It's like. Do you realize who's in the room, fool? Right? And I'm not talking about rapper, uh, the rappers or the, the... I'm talking about the people that are in the back just sitting down. And it's like, that's when I understood, like... You can't, you can't even reply to these fools, bro. If they're disrespecting everybody in the room like that... Then the people that are saying this in the comments are either not from here... Don't know anybody that's here... Or just talking out their ass, dog. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like you can't even go at them. But the point that I'm trying to make is that are they all real G's? You can't say I was with a lame, right? Same thing goes for Carolyn. She kicking it with a fucking child, you know what? So they going they gon' put you in that category. Now you could say I got nothing to do with it. Yeah, you don't, but you you supporting one. So you agree with what he's doing. Cause if it would have happened to your kids. You wouldn't, you wouldn't support it, but because it didn't, it's okay for you to support it. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to be very careful of the people you have around you, the company. Now, I know sometimes somebody might slip in or, you know, you took a photo with somebody that you didn't know. But right away, when you catch it, bro, you make an announcement or you get it off your shit. Hey, look, I don't rock with this guy. He just wanted a photo. I don't know who he is. Bam. Come on. Let's go bullying a woman you know what i mean so that's why i jumped out and said hey both of you motherfuckers gotta stop this shit and this guy he was running around like goofball uh mr capone with that other dude lazy dub and i'm like y'all making a whole circus out of this shit some people are like well why are you in there to dig deeper motherfucker, we out here trying to sell cds to pay rent and nobody on no shit trying to dig deep on that shit but 
when when Capone brought it to the light, I started running to other podcasts like uh, the American Cholo dude, right? And then he had pulled out the whole paperwork. So let, about a year ago now, I found that, and I'm like, damn, they're going. These are documents, you know? And we're like, what, bro? I, I don't go to the courthouse trying to pull no paperwork and all this shit, you know what I mean? Come on, bro, we street people over here, you know what I mean? We don't, bro, I stay as far away from the police system as I can. Stop lying, Mo. You a civilian, my boy. If somebody happens to cut that tail you're wearing right now or snatch the hat off, you calling the popo, my boy, all right? You calling the popo, you dialing 911. And you so scared you dialing 199, all right? 119 you know what i mean all right uh and that's the truth but i get what you're saying i get what you're saying like look it's not that important we're not digging through all that yeah you're not but the minute that everybody around you starts bringing it up and starts digging up documents that are official then at that point bro you have to start like realizing like man maybe this is true i need to step back a little i need to figure it out because i don't want to be attached to a person that has done these crimes in which he has, but I think it took too long. 15 years? Uh, let me tell you what I think. I think that this fool did something to SPM where SPM said, hey, I ain't rocking with you no more. And now, and now it's like, let's expose him. Well, why didn't you expose him when you were friends with him? You want to expose him after you didn't get what you wanted or they kicked you off the team? Usually that's how it goes, bro. A disgruntled employee disgruntled employee will always air you out let's go i've been in it in cps all my life you know what i mean they damaged my life you think i want to be a around a police officer i ain't got nothing against police officers but i just felt that on my life you know what i mean like hey i'm trying to dodge all that shit i'm i'm trying to be a a, a good human being out here. i'm trying to pay my rent with this product with cds and all this when i seen that american cholo dude he started breaking it down. And when I first seen it, I didn't even go through with all of it. But I've seen a little bit of it. I'm like, damn. So this is why people are getting crazy out here, you know? But people wanted to see Capone be destroyed too because he's like this gimmick dude. He's always clout chasing. And that's clout chasing. Don't mistake him what I'm doing with what they're doing out here. Listen, I don't like how they keep saying Capone a gimmick. And, and not because of, I'm cool with the dude, because at one point we weren't cool. I was on the Mac Glock side. He was on the high power side. He was the op, you know? So it, it's not that. It's not that, you know, uh, I'm looking out for the guy. But as far as back as I can remember, fool, uh, he's, been a, he's been a South Sider, my boy. So a gimmick is somebody that comes, puts on a uniform, lies to everybody, gets money, and leaves. That's a culture vulture, too. Oh, that's popping? It's popping to be black. Let me let me see how let me look up the homies the black homies and let me see if I can mock their mock their you know their lingo and mock their their hand gestures and let me mock their music and let me get this bread. I'm not saying uh uh you know like uh like like if you're born into the culture you can't be a culture vulture but if you're out here mocking somebody for views and money then you're a culture vulture but as far as I can remember Capone has always been a G. He's always been from a gang, the same gang we all know. He's always claimed the same area, no hood hopper. He's been embraced by all the uh, all the top dogs, you know. So so I, I don't get when people say he a gimmick, a gimmick of what? He's always been that cholo dude, ball headed with the big pants and the big old letters on the shirt. He hasn't changed his style, not even today. If he was a gimmick, he would have already changed his style. You feel what I'm saying? Like he. I've never known him to chase trends. So I'm not defending the guy. It's just the truth. Look him up 25 years ago. He was still a cholo. That, uh, bro, Blacks, my homeboy Blacks, will tell me stories about Capone when they were young. And I'll be like, damn, fool. You know, uh, they know each other. So, I mean, come on. Let's go. And say I'm cloud chasing because I'm living this. He out here trying to find a reason to make headlines. There's a big difference, you know what I mean? You see the truth, you see the paperwork. Man. No, 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 oh, okay, so I still didn't see that, right? Like, I, I I seen a little bit, but I'm like, okay, these are these guys are trying to expose this man. And later on, uh, you know, we got to actually meet JD. I didn't know what 
you know, how his mom was. I like, I, I didn't get on into them details. You know what I mean? This man's a grown man. He 30 years old now. You feel me? He's going bald and shit. Damn. Oh, he's talking about SPM son. This... He's talking about SPM son, the, uh, the, uh, the kid that was, you know, you know, you know, you know. Like, so I'm like, damn, you know, um, I'm, I'm going to get straight to the point. So J, hold on. JD is SPM's son, son. right? The yeah. one that with the the the, uh, the one from yeah, the yeah, Jill, yeah, it's his mother, the but, thirteen year old. But they, this is another girl. thing: is they try to debunk that whole thing and say Jill was a stripper, right? And that made it an yeah. excuse. She was at the strip club. Y'all heard that shit? She was at the strip club, and she was underage, you know. But that gives it an excuse with her well now i talked to him like two weeks ago or a week and a half two weeks ago and he tells me on the phone he says i'm about to come out with the real truth see now this is what got me right this well, is what you talked to you talked to spm or yeah, JD? yeah so he wanted me to spm he wanted me to be the event coordinator because I've, I've been putting shows together with him for a couple of years when the birthday badges so I'm the event coordinator. I'm the DJ. I organize a lot of shit. Get the porta potties. Get the food trucks. He definitely looks like a DJ slash janitor. I ain't got nothing against Mo Hustle though. I don't. Even though he says some disrespectful things about me, I think he said I'm in the midst of being angry. All right. So Mo Hustle, salute my boy. Listen, you came out. You saw the light. You understood. All right. Now he did tell me on my podcast when I called him that. He didn't apologize, but he said that, you know, he was wrong for, for saying what he said. And I got to respect that, though. You know, uh, anything beyond that, I, I couldn't tell you. But if, if he came out and he says, you know what, I was wrong. You know, I had the info wrong. I see I see the I see the tunnel. And, and you know, uh, my bad. Let's go. Get all these people lined up. I get all the artists that follow me to come uh you know, perform and all that shit. You know what I mean? This is what I do now. I'm an event coordinator, right? So he had me in there. He's like, hey, we're going to create the Day of Unity. So while I'm, I'm discussing shit with him, you know, he goes, uh, I, I brought up Filetto. I said, man, why are you treating Filetto like this about these drug tests, bro? What the f on? You know, and he's like, well, Filetto ain't got no numbers. He's not relevant. He can't be a part of their unity. Da, 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 da. You know, he starts like shitting on him. And I'm like, bro, what do you mean? You just had his birthday party there. All everybody came for us. You know what I mean? Like, it was a great turnout. I, I don't care about Filetto. All right. He goes on to say about the girl. Hey, listen, I have not watched this podcast. I've only watched 14 minutes and 57 seconds, which is what I watch with you guys. Uh, but I need you guys to go watch it. It's very, it's, it, it's got to be entertaining because I'm already entertained. And I'm probably going to react a little bit more to it. I just got to find the spots. If anybody has the, the key points, send me a, send me down below it in the comments. Put a put a, uh, a, a tag on there, a time tag or what is this called? You know what I'm talking about. Put the time, re, uh, time stamp. Put a time stamp and I'll get to it. Uh, with that being said, shout out to Cam Capone. Uh, you know, shout out to Capone. Shout out to... Uh, 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 Royalty that's coming in today, Mr. D. Uh, shout out to everybody. Make sure you guys go leave those questions. Make sure you guys go watch the 200 Boys podcast tonight. And with that being said, uh, salute to everybody. You already know I'm Blue Devil. And we out. <laughs>